Hey everybody, uh, this is a uh, walk around video for my father-in-law's uh, 1982 Mustang GT uh, 5 liter 5 speed uh, car uh, that he is uh, putting up for sale. Uh, so this is a video requested by Roger Wells uh, to do a walk around. Uh, today's date is on July 2nd and um, 2024 and uh, so we're going to do a quick walk around and explain to you the history of it. So the history of it is, uh, so it's a low mileage car, it's got 11,000 uh, original kilometers on it. Uh, everything's original on the car, engine transmission uh, are matching as far as I understand. Uh, and so the, uh, the story is that the original owner purchased it originally, uh, drove it for about 10 years or so, um, and then, no more than that, sorry, 20 years. Uh, 82, 82, around 20 years, and then um, apparently got bored of it. Uh, he belonged a part of a church group, uh, and the uh, another member of the church group was a friend of my father-in-law's, and so that's how he knew him. So, in terms of documenting the original uh, mileage, uh, that's kind of how he's absolutely certain that this is the original miles uh, of the car because he knew. He was a close friend with the, the friend, and he purchased it directly from the original owner. So it was essentially a direct purchase. Uh, so he is 100% certain that that's the original mileage of the car. Um, so there's no paperwork or anything like that, uh, other than the information from the uh, uh, ministry, uh, which I have as well, and I can go over that. Uh, but that's the original information. So let's go over it quickly, uh, and, we'll, and we'll take a close look. So, uh, body-wise, there's no rust on the car. Uh, Paint-wise, it does look like it's been stored outside. So, it 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 looks like the just like it's been weathered, right? So, not like there's anything, you know, there's no issues with like rust on the paint or anything like that. Uh, but. Um, you know, it definitely could benefit from a uh, cut and buff. Some minor surface rust around the uh, 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 the moonroof. Just minor, minor stuff here. It looks like it's got a non-factory tint on it. You can see the original pinstriping on the vehicle. Uh, I was under the impression that these had the original tires on it. And uh, I'm not, I was not correct on that. So these are not the original tires. But if you take a look at the date code, this has got the... Uh, the, uh, here we go, the uh, three pin, uh, three digit date code. So the date code is 419, so back pre-2000, that meant it was the ninth um, year of the decade. So this is uh, either 1998 or 1988 tires. So I thought it was original, not correct. It's definitely old, but uh, perhaps not the original. Let's take a quick look inside. Alrighty. So interior. Let me just take this off the tripod here. Seats are in great condition. Doesn't look like they have even been sat in. So the weather, uh, sorry, the um, the head trim, the the headliner perhaps, uh, on the rear part of the car seems to have been falling down. So I just kind of wedged some cardboard there. So in terms of like actual issues with the car, 
it looks like the rear headliner just needs to be put in. I don't think it's deteriorated. It just seems like it needs to be repulled or restretched and then uh, secured. But that is the original headliner, as far as I know. Uh, also, air conditioning seems to be not working. So uh, I guess those are the two main things. It does have the original Ford radio. So another indication of a low mileage car is how good the interior is. Like, does it look like it's a 110 or 200, 111 or 211,000 vehicle? Like, if you take a look at the interior, this is not worn at all, right? Pedals don't look like they're a 111,000 mile uh, kilometer car. Mileage on the dash shows 11,000 let's see here what else can we see door sticker oh let's get the uh, Trunk is good, no rust. Let's get the uh, driver's side door. No rust around the jams. Weather stripping looks good. Door panels look good. Okay, let's open her up. Engine compartment looks super good. It is air conditioning car. I guess, I don't know, I guess they all had air conditioning back then. Sauce looks good. Our steering looks good. It doesn't look like there's any leaks. Super, super good condition. Okay, let's fire it up. This is a cold start. I think the, uh, it's a little rough when it fires up, but uh, it's okay when it warms up.
looks a little bit black. Maybe a little rich. But it fires up. But as it warms up, looks like it goes away. All right, let's take a look underneath. Looks really clean, I don't see any rough. It does look like it's been oil sprayed. Ah. Take a look at the front here. Okay, I got the uh, trusty helper in the car with me. He's gonna help video uh, this ride. So, but before we uh, we take a look, let's take a look at the um, uh, used vehicle package. Okay, flip to the second page, bud. Uh, second, uh, the green page here. All right. So we're taking a look at the owners. So this is, let's see, section. Uh, yeah, so section two, current registration, that's uh, my father-in-law, that's uh, Luigi. Uh, section three, previous, uh, someone named Tony in Scarborough. So that is, uh, that is it. Just, just two owners on the car. Okay, bud, I'll give you the camera and uh, we're just going to take a video about us driving around. There you go, yeah, just leave that. Trade. All right. Let's be very, very still, very calm. And we're just gonna go for right. Okay, let's get a shot of this. These are the gauges. So I just fired this thing up. I'm gonna fire it up again. <laughs> I already did the back. We're good. Just point here. That needs a, a little bit of gas. There we go. Seems to idle a bit high. It warms down. Warms up. <clears throat> Parking brake works. Oh, it works. Do you have any idea how fast you were going? <laughs> no. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, we need seatbelts. Oh, yep. S safety first.
Let's hear that. to go. It's pretty good. Uh, I do hear a little bit of clunking and this and that, so I'm not sure what needs to be replaced. But uh, but it looks like uh, oh, quit again. Because this car is really it, nice. Uh, yeah, it definitely needs a tune-up. And like you need to go like the exact same speed that the gears want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like if you're going too fast on gear one, then it'll clunch. Yeah, the bushings on the shifter are fairly good. I mean, you don't need to hunt around for what gear you're in. So we're in third gear. I step on it, it's pretty reactive. I remember my dad taking me to school with this thing once. Oh yeah. Some pretty good acceleration. Thank you. Maybe just for a head start, could I like maybe view a little bit of the front? Oh, I've done all that uh, oh. already. So we're, this is just the drive. Yeah. Well, thank you for all your help. Okay, there's a, oops, uh, a bunch of other, um, just uh, stand back a little bit, pal. Uh, a bunch of other parts for the car. I'll just go over them real quick. Lots of space here. I got a bunch of these things. I don't know what they are, if they're Ford. I don't know, but they look like the rubber lining. Probably just some mats. Yeah. This, I don't, I don't know what this is. Probably more mats. Uh, Maybe one screen. It's got a bunch of parts here. So it looks like we got a replacement antenna for the broken antenna. And some windshields. Wind yeah, it's got a bunch wiper. of Windshield stuff wiper. here. This looks like it's uh, yeah, original Canadian tire stuff this is oh. this is like yeah this is from like the the 90s yeah these are these are the 90s, 90s. Yeah, entire stuff um and some speakers i don't know if these are what those are uh, uh, but in terms the, of documentation those look like they're good quality speakers yeah so and just get a shot of this pal so this is the um the original owner card Right, this comes with a car. Uh, this is undercoating, crown rust undercoating stuff, and you can see the dates here. So, 83, 90, right? So, there's that. Just I don't some know what binders. this is. Oh, this is just some old cars. Some clippings. Looks pretty cool, yeah, I'll say. Ford instructions. Oh. Yeah, just some, some early. The this looks like car and driver. A Mustang. Uh, stuff. Just some. Yeah. All right. 
Nothing, nothing in terms of documentation. Uh, the, only, the only documentation I actually have is the, the ministry information, which shows the uh, original um, ownership of the vehicle. We also got an extra steering wheel over here. We got a steering wheel. Extra. I don't know if this is Mu OEM. Mustang GT. Yeah, I don't know. I by don't the way, Mustangs. by the way, this is a GT Mustang. But this all came with a car, so it is all part of the uh, all included. The only really thing that we know about Mustangs is that they're cool. Yes, they are. We're more like Dodge people. All right, and that's uh, that's everything. I don't think anything else to show. Or maybe just a view at the front. Okay, we shut it off. Okay.